So this is going to be a bed mass with fractions tutorial. I've written out uh, a mathematical expression over here. It's, it reads 5 times 2 thirds to the power of 0 plus, in brackets, 1 third plus 2 and 1 fifth, close bracket, squared, divided by 3 and a third. So according to bed mass, and I'll write that down over here in red so that I don't forget bed mass, what I'm supposed to do first is anything inside a bracket. So inside my brackets over here, I've got 1 third plus 2 and 1 fifth. So I'm going to start with that. And uh, to add these, I need my fractions to be in improper form. 1 third is already good. I can write that down, 1 third plus. And now 2 and 1 fifth, I'm going to convert that into an improper fraction by doing 2 times 5 plus 1. That's 10 plus 1 is 11 over 5. Notice the denominator is the same here as it is over here. And uh, I, can, I can close the brackets, put the square, and I'm just going to recopy everything as it was. So 5 times 2 thirds to the power of 0 plus this bracket, which I started working on, divided by 3 and 1 third. Now, 3 and 1, th uh, sorry, 1 third plus 11 fifths. To add that, because I'm adding, I need a common denominator. The lowest common denominator between 3 and 5 is 15. If you didn't know that, you can create a table of multiples like this, 3 and 5. You can count by 3's, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, etc. And then we can count by 5's, 5, 10, 15, 20, etc. And we'll notice that 15 is the first and lowest common multiple of both 3 and 5, making it our lowest common denominator. So I'm going to recopy everything uh, as it is. So I've got 5 times 2 thirds to the power of 0 plus, and now inside my bracket I have something out of 15 plus something out of 15. Close the brackets, squared divided by 3 and 1 third. Now, in the top of the numerators over here inside my bracket, over the 15s, I need to find the numerators that go with these numbers. What I did to the 3 over here to get a 15 was multiply by 5. But whatever I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. So 1 times 5 gives me 5. The numerator is 5. And to get a 15 on this side, I had to do 5 times 3, so I have to do 11 times 3 as well. Whatever I do at the bottom, I do at the top. 11 times 3 is 33. Therefore, when adding these two fractions, I've got 5 fifteenths plus 33 fifteenths. So how many fifteenths do I have? That's 5 plus 33. That's 38 fifteenths squared. Remember that my bracket is squared, so everything inside must be squared. I can recopy 5 times 2 thirds to the power of 0 plus, and on the other side I've got divided by 3 and 1 third. So that takes care of my bracket. Now I need to do exponents. The next step is exponents. So I notice that I've got 5 times 2 thirds to the power of 0. Anything to the power of zero, fraction or decimal or whole number or negative number, anything to the power of zero is one. So really what I have here is five times one. So this is five times one plus thirty-eight to the power thirty-eight to the power sorry, uh, thirty-eight fifteenths to the power of two. So what that is is thirty-eight squared over 15 squared, and I'm going to erase that and put right away the correct answer. I'm going to take 38, I'm going to square it. Let's take my calculator out and do 38 times 38, that's 38 squared, and that's 1444. So 1444 over 15 times 15. Let's get the calculator again. 15 squared, that's 15 times 15, that's 225, 225, to 
divided by 3 and 1 third. After I do my exponents, I can multiply and divide. So over here I've got 5 times 1, that's just 5 plus. And over here I've got a division that I have to do. But before I can divide, I'm going to convert this fraction over here into an improper fraction. By doing 3 times 3 plus 1, that's 9 plus 1 is 10 over 3. So that's 10 over 3, 1444 over 225 divided by 10 over 3. So I have to do this division. A division is really just a multiplication. I take, I take my second fraction and I flip it and I turn my division into a multiplication. So let's erase, let's erase the division. Let's erase this fraction and let's turn it into a multiplication times and let's flip the fraction. It was 10 over 3, now it's 3 over 10. Before, before I multiply, I check to see if I can cross reduce. Can I divide 10 can I divide 1444 by 10? No, but I can reduce by 2, uh, perhaps even by 4. Let's take out the calculator and see. Is 1444 divisible by 4? Yes. So, oh, I can't divide 10 by 4, so never mind. So 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 1444 divided by 2 is 722. So let's cross that out. Let's cross that out and write 722, and this is 5. Let's check to see if 225, 225 is divisible by 3. Let's see if I can reduce that by 3. So 225, is that divisible by 3? Yes. So I cross out 225 and I replace it by 75. I cross out the 3, I replace that by a 1 because I divide both by 3. And now when I multiply, it's top with top, bottom with bottom. So this is going to give me 722 times 1 is 722 over 75 times 5. What is 75 times 5? 75 times 5 is 375. 375. Now what I'm doing is, what I'm doing is 5 over 1 plus 722 over 375. I need a common denominator. So what I'm going to do is multiply my 1 by 375 to get a common denominator of 375. But whatever I do at the bottom, I must do at the top. So times 375 as well. 5 times 375 gives me 1875. So I write that down, 1875 over 375 plus 722 over 375. So how many 375s is that? That's 1875 plus 722, 2, 9, 15, carry the 1, 2,592, 375ths. Now, of course, you could convert this into a mixed fraction if you wanted to by dividing the numerator by the denominator and then placing the remainder over the dividend. But that would be for a different video.